Hey everyone, it's Carlo. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to automate the volume level of your track here in Studio One. Let's check it out. Understanding what automation does is crucial to having active mixes, mixes that are engaging and move and have a, real, a lot of appeal for uh, your listeners. And in Studio One, it's really easy. I'm gonna show you how to automate the level of some tracks. Let me solo this track and my piano. Let's take a listen to this briefly. So first I want to point out to you that here on my lead guitar track, if you look at the bottom of the fader here, it says automation off. There's a couple of ways to get to this and one of them is right here in your mixer. If I select it, you can see I have these different modes. Now, if you want to see your automation lane here, let's expand this. I'm going to right click right here and choose expand envelopes. And here you see we have an automation lane for volume and panning. If you don't see these, come up to Studio One Preferences and under Advanced you'll see Automation. You've got lanes by default for volume, pan, and muting. So I've got volume and panning checked and there they are. Now let me expand my volume one and we can take a little look like that. And this is where we are now going to draw in our automation. Now, automation does is it allows us to create an event, in this case with amplitude, with volume. We're gonna change the volume for this and write in how we want that to behave. So it becomes automa automatic for us. All right, so I'll give you an example right now. Right now it's set to off. Let's choose right. And when I start playing this back, you can either ride the fader here in the edit box or down here in the mix level. You can ride it. What I mean by that is we're going to actually create the feel for the amplitude that we're looking for. Now in this example, I'm gonna exaggerate a little bit for the effect, but you'll see what I mean. Take a listen. And there, you can see I now rode the level here, changing the volume of that performance. Take a listen. Now, under write, if I was to play this, it would literally plow through and rewrite the automation, erasing it for us. So I'm going to choose read. Now it's going to play it safe. It's not going to override our automation and write something else in. It's going to read that automation. Take a listen. We'll take it right from here. There. Now, you, if you notice, there were a couple different modes, and I'll explain them really briefly. What Latch does is it'll, it'll now read it for you without overriding the existing automation, but allow you to override it a little bit. But when you let go, it'll stay at that new level. I'll show you what I mean. So every time I let go, it would just stay at that new level. That's basically what Latch does. Let me undo that. And now what Touch does, it allows you to touch up the automation, but it'll snap back to the pre-existing level that's already been automated there. I'll show you what I mean that way. See, every time I let go, it sprang back up, it sprang back up, and it sprang back up. So touch will allow you to touch up your automation, but quickly return it to the previous automation information that's located in there. Okay, so this is the power of automating. Hopefully you can see the advantage of this. Just keep in mind that when you're done writing automation, either return it to read only so you don't overwrite it again. I'll show you what happens, by the way. If I put it on write again and just press play, it's going to plow right over it. It's basically erasing our automation. So let me undo that, okay? So I like to return this to read when I'm done writing in my automation. Now, if you want to go back in and tweak a little bit, watch how these nodes pop up. 
right about there. See that, all those nodes? I can now grab these and I can adjust them manually. So we have the flexibility to go in there and tweak them. If you double click, you will create a node and you can now start literally drawing in your own automation very surgically and very accurately, okay? So right click clicking on a node will allow you to get these parameters here where you can remove a node. So right clicking a node will give you some settings and double clicking anywhere, let's say right about there, will create a node. And these nodes allow you to go in and tweak it surgically so you can actually create a more accurate look and feel so you can create a more, so you can surgically, so you can have complete control over the detail of your levels here. There you go. Let me return that back to read and we are good to go. And that's how you quickly and simply write in volume automation here when working in Studio One on any track at all. Hey everyone and thank you for watching. I hope you learned a lot from this video. Leave your comments below. Like, share and subscribe. Also, don't forget to download that cheat sheet in the description below.